Okay, guys, uh, I'm on the Wasp and I'm in the at the uh, at the uh, area. So my dilemma is that I've got four uh, four slammers on board, which puts me well over the grace rate for vertical takeoff. So I can't really take off vertically. Uh, but the other problem is that the Wasp does not have uh, catapults. So, how do I get this jet off the deck without going into water? So, I've come up with a bit of a solution here um, using a voice attack profile which um, seems to work. Um, so, let's just see how that works. Okay, so, let's just clear the chocks and um, move into position. Okay, so one of the problems with this carrier is that you need to move up to position 6 on the runway you better call the tower. So that is fine. So as we get up close to the position hold line, position 6, we should get the call to the tower. Actually, I should have pulled some power first, so... Um. Good morning, jump 7. You are number one for departure. Taxi, in and hold, short. So it's telling me to call the tower. Jump 7-1, contact tower for takeoff. Switch to 6 8 two. Preset 3. Call a ready for departure. So that's fine, everything is okay. Um, just waiting to... Jump to 7, hold short. Take off. So we've got a full load of slammers on board. How do we get off the deck? Okay. Jump so. 7, Wayne, zero, 020, zero, at 5 knots. You're cleared for takeoff. So the problem is, is that um, we need to go back there, don't we? So we're halfway up the, run up the run, we need to reverse to take advantage of the length of the carrier. You try to take off from this position here, you won't make it, you're going to go straight in the water. So we've got to reverse. So reverse, we'll um, change the exhaust angle. You can either do it, you know, incrementally each time you move your switch that you've mapped for the exhausts, you can move it up. So we want to move it up to at least 90 to 100 so the nozzles are facing forward. And see, while I'm here, I'm just going to um, do that. So theoretically, if we power up, we should get a reverse. Yes, it's reversing for us. You notice this exhaust thing is 100, 100 degrees. Up a bit. So we want to go right to the edge as far as we can go. Get a break. Okay, so that's around about. So we've got now the length of the runway, or the carrier deck. So we're going to take off, but um, with, with uh, four slammers on board, we're, that gives us a total of about 27,631 pounds, which is pretty heavy. Um, but if we do what they say in the manual, which says it gives advance the nozzle to 50 degrees. Is there a problem? Uh, it's quite difficult because um, you don't have enough airspeed. So what I'm going to do is leave the nozzles at zero. So I'm going to cancel out that. So I've got a, a using voice attack program. I can actually just hit the mic switch once. Um, shift using the shift 
flicky switch and get it back to zero. You can also hit it forward and it'll give me 50 degrees nozzle. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the length of the runway to get the speed. So, you know, when I leave the end of the deck, I'm doing about 96 knots. Um, and then hit the switch, the nozzle switch, which will automatically give me 50 degrees nozzle pretty pretty rapidly, which has the effect of lifting me, you know, sort of jumping me off the deck, um, which helps. So we'll see, it's all about practice and timing. So if I want to hit that nozzle setting just before I hit the end of the um, carry deck. So let's give it a go. Okay. Flaps to STOL. You're cleared for takeoff. Okay, full throttle. So here we go. Altitude. Altitude. Gear up. Contact so I'm going to hit shift and mic switch back, the exhaust angle back to zero. So, rear speed, it's pretty good airspeed, we're 530, all over the place a little bit here, but... So, flaps the cruise. Altitude. Altitude. So there we go. We're airborne with uh, four slammers. And uh, no problems at all. Okay. So it's just it's going to take a bit of practice, but yeah, that's what you want to do. Get your airspeed, uh, your you know your runway speed, taxi speed, pretty fast, as fast as you can, zero uh, nozzle, and then jump into the air at the end of that carrier. That's how they do it in real life. So just trying to copy that, simulate that. And I'm sure with a bit of practice you'll get that down to a fine art, but this is where the um, voice attack program is very handy. It's not only control with the voice, um, you can set um, set it to keys, which is what I've done. Okay, so, so I also use voice attack to do my radio calls, so report everyone, report everyone. Okay, so this is Kev signing out.